skinny tourist where the Queen lives and Buckingham Palace will be the reply. But the house in the mall is really just a ceremonial London base the Queen's real love is the country and the walking, riding and fishing that it offers. The rest of the royals love the outdoor life too, and last week pictures emerged of Harry and Meghan's new country home, set in four Gloucestershire acres. They took a two-year lease on the £2.5 million, four-bedroom Cotswolds farmhouse before their wedding last May and have hosted A-list friends there, including the Clooney's and tennis champ Serena Williams. Rather than live in a 21-room apartment in Kensington Palace once earmarked for them, they prefer the 18th-century property on the Great Two estate, where the Beckhams are neighbours. It has a converted barn attached, with two kitchens on each floor, yes, two, plus a spectacular sitting area with floor-to-ceiling windows. There is also a two-bedroom cottage for guests or staff in the grounds. But the couple's main home will be Frogmore Cottage on Windsor Castle's home park estate, which has ten bedrooms, gym, sauna and a nursery for their soon-to-arrive baby. So where do the rest of the royals live away from the capital when their biggest need is seclusion and security with cameras and armed police on hand? Here's their very grand portfolio of country pads. The Queen Windsor Castle value priceless offers from pounds 350 million the perfect weekend retreat just 22 miles from Buckingham Palace. Its 1,000 rooms dating back 900 years make it the world's largest occupied castle. The Queen first moved here with her family in the Second World War to escape German bombs. She has her own private St. George's Chapel, where her parents King George VI and the Queen Mother, plus her sister Princess Margaret, are buried. Royal Touch, the Queen enjoys hosting state banquets in the 170 feet long St. George's Hall with a table seating up to 160 guests. Balmoral Value Priceless offers from pounds 110 million the Queen's favourite home, set in 50,000 acres of farmland, grouse moors and forests in Aberdeenshire. Her Majesty spends every summer here, but when the castle is open to tourists she stays in a seven-bedroom house on the estate, Craigo and Lodge, then moves into the big house for August and September. The whole family enjoys fishing, hunting, picnicking, and barbecuing with Prince Philip in charge of the cooking. Royal Touch, the Queen often drives her beloved Range Rover over the rugged estate sometimes with terrified dignitaries as passengers. Sandringham House value, upwards of pounds 55 million once described as the most comfortable house in England, the Queen spends much of the winter here. It holds poignant memories as her father George VI died here, as did George V. The house is small by royal standards it can sleep 30 and stands in a 20,000-acre estate in North Norfolk. The principal rooms are the saloon, drawing room, dining room and ballroom, plus a gun room, billiard room and a bowling alley now converted into a library. Royal Touch, the chintzy drawing room is packed with board games such as Monopoly and Scrabble, which are played every Christmas. Prince Charles Highgrove House Value offers over pounds 45 million the prince loves his 220-year-old house set in 37 acres of rolling countryside near Tetbury, Gloucestershire. 
it was bought in 1984 almost pounds 1 million shortly before he met Diana. The property boasts nine bedrooms, four reception rooms, eight bathrooms and a nursery wing, but it's the exterior that Charles adores with its 15-acre formal gardens. He has spent £500,000 transforming the estate into a showcase for organic farming and gardening, and recently added a money-making function suite in the grounds. Royal Touch, the garden contains busts of people Charles admires including the socialite Debo Devonshire, composer John Tavener and former Bishop of London, Richard Charters. Burkle Value offers over pounds 25 million Charles inherited this magnificent home at Balmoral from the Queen Mother, who described it as a little big house and decorated with plenty of distinctive tartan. Every year Charles and Camilla spend summer weeks walking there and fishing on the river that flows through the garden. Burkle, built in 1715, is said to be the prince's favorite place on earth. Royal touch, servants pull off the royal's muddy green wellies and fishing gear before they relax in front of a log fire. When I remod value, upwards of pounds 10 million set in 192 acres near Landovery in Carmarthenshire, this is Charles and Camilla's Welsh retreat, perfect for walking. The house was derelict when Charles bought it in 2007 and he spent an estimated one pound. 5 million on refurbishment carried out by Welsh craftsmen. The royal couple stay in a converted three-bedroom farmhouse, and when they're not there the courtyard buildings are let for holidays. Royal touch, Charles has a fountain in the courtyard garden to provide what he describes as that all-important sound of running water. Princess Anne Gatcombe Park value, at least pounds 20 million This 730-acre working farm near Minchinhampton, Gloucestershire, was bought by the Queen in 1976 for 750,000 pounds for Anne and first husband Mark Phillips. She now lives there with second husband Sir Timothy Lawrence. The estate includes an 18th-century manor house, farmhouse, cottages, extensive stables, an airstrip and a trout lake. The house has five main bedrooms, four secondary bedrooms, four reception rooms, a library, a billiard room and a conservatory. Plus staff accommodation, naturally. Royal Touch and walks her bull terriers round at Combe Water, a 12-acre trout lake which she half owns. An Australian businessman owns the other half. Prince Andrew, the Royal Lodge, Windsor value, upwards of pounds 30 million. The Duke of York leases this Georgian house in Windsor Great Park, where the Queen Mother used to live. It has 30 rooms, gardens, a private chapel and 21 acres of secluded grounds. He paid pounds 1 million for a 75-year lease which works out at 265 pounds a week. There are eight houses for staff, and Andrew has spent pounds 7 million on renovations including an indoor swimming pool. Royal Touch, there is a driving range, so the seven handicap golfer or prince can practice his swing. Prince Edward Bagshot Park value, estimated at pounds 35 million the biggest private residence of any of the Queen's four children. Canny Edward pays £90,000 a year to rent the 57-room Victorian Surrey mansion, where he lives with Sophie. 
However, he receives £80,000 by subletting a converted stable block to a pharmaceuticals firm, reducing his annual rent to £10,000, or £192 a week. Royal Touch Edward enjoys his own billiard room wing, built by Indian craftsmen in the 1880s. Prince William Anmer Hall value upwards of £25 million a gift to William and Kate from the Queen, the 10-bedroom Georgian mansion on the Sandringham estate has a private pool. The couple spent several million pounds refurbishing it, including putting artificial grass on the tennis court. They also have a new glazed garden room and smart new kitchen. The couple spend lots of time there with their children. Royal Touch William and Kate socialize a lot in their kitchen, which the Queen couldn't get her head around when she first visited them.